I hope the lighting is okay here. The I usually try not to have a window behind me, but it seems to be okay. All right, so um, if you saw my last haul video, which was the bins haul part one of two and a few things from Goodwill um, Auctions, I said that there would be a second video from that haul, a part two, and there was, there was a second video, was, because uh, I accidentally deleted it. So now you're never going to see that that video. Um, the other thing that I said was I wasn't planning uh, to source again for a couple of weeks, and that's absolutely true. I wasn't planning on sourcing. Um, but today I had, today's my midweek day off and I had a bunch of things to do. I needed to get a smog check. So as long as I was gonna be on that end of town, I, I was on my way and I'm like, you know, the thrift store that I like to go to about once a month, the local thrift store is pretty much on the way. You know, it's, it's very close. I might as well stop because then I can make it a business trip and I can log, you know, mileage and my spreadsheet for my taxes. The wheels are always turning. So I went there and I picked up seven things and then I went to get my smog check. And when I go to that particular thrift store once a month, I then hit another thrift store, which is expensive with no discounts. And, but I go there and I pick up occasionally a pair of, you know, some footwear or a handbag. I think I've only picked up clothes once or twice because it is overpriced. I am paying up, but they get some like amazing, especially footwear. So I, I stopped there as well. So I do have eight, I have seven items from the first store and then one item from that other store. And then I, I, I can't redo the, the video from the bins haul because all that stuff's been integrated into my inventory. Um, but I do have a few pieces that are here. So we are gonna start with those. Um, I had said that, that I found a, a Bolo brand that, was, that I didn't get to in the first video. And it is, it is something that I've, uh, I believe is a Bolo brand just based on watching other people's videos. And I have never found them, I've never seen them in real life, but they are uh, mother jeans. When I saw them, I just saw the word mother kind of peeking out, kind of like it was with Arcteryx where I just saw that little piece and I just grabbed it and ran. I saw this and I didn't think it was mother jeans at first. I'm just like, oh, maybe that's a, a style of jeans, you know, mom jeans, mother jeans. Uh, but no, no, sure enough, there they are. They are the ankle chew learn to hula straight jean, size 28. So, you know, factory distressed. I think everything in, in terms of the distressing, here, let me try to see, it's that window, it's that darned window. Uh, everything distressed wise, I think is, as it's supposed to be, or as it came off the assembly line, if you will. And I already have these listed. So if you're interested, you can check it out in my Poshmark and Mercari stores. This item is actually my favorite item from the haul, just in terms of personally, like what kind of stuff I like. And it is, I like to pick up military stuff. I don't pick it up all the time. It doesn't necessarily um, sell quickly and we do have quite a bit of it there is a an Air Force base here so it seems like a lot of stuff but I have never seen one of these like the official I don't know nice jacket I, I see a lot of like you know training stuff cam camo pa pants and jackets but I've never seen this with the patches I'm curious if these patches, I'm sure that these patches signify something. Um, if I was in LA and found this in a thrift store, I would think it was wardrobe, but it is not because I can tell by that. I believe I have, I have a military like trench coat or coat. That's also this company, DSCP. And I'm thinking that it belonged to someone named Southards, Southards, Southards. Would that be his name? Is that what that probably is? Size 39 regular. 
So I just thought this was pretty terrific and it's in amazing condition. I have not found, 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 I couldn't find, whatever, uh, any flaws. I don't know if I showed this one. This is the second military thing and it's just a pair of like, it's like sweatpants, but they're mostly fleece and they zip all the way up. You know, I really do think I showed these already, but I love them and uh, I'm confused because I, you know, I did do a video for both things. So I know I, I, I did a video with these. I just don't know if they were on the first one or the second one. Pretty sure it was the first one, sorry. Uh, but I do like them a lot. So apparently enough to show them twice. And then one last item from the bins that I know I hadn't shown. I mentioned that I'm trying to avoid kids things, but I had picked up two, which I showed you. Actually, there was a third, I forgot about it. These are Oshkosh Bagosh overalls. Oh my gosh. How cute are they? They're a wide whale pink corduroy, size 18 months. Couldn't, couldn't resist them, obviously, or I wouldn't have them. If I could have resisted them, they wouldn't be here with us today. All right, uh, then I'm gonna do the one item from the one thrift store where I always pay up. There were actually two items I wanted. The other one was a pair of Ariat boots and they were really cool Ariat boots, nothing like ever, anything I've ever seen. But unfortunately, one of them was in somebody's hand and she was on the phone saying, where are you? I need to show you something. And then I guess she picked up and showed her a picture and said, there are Ariats and they're your size. And I'm thinking, say no, say no. But she didn't say no. And uh, I kind of followed the woman a bit thinking maybe she'll change her mind, but she, she wouldn't because it was the person on the phone and they would have to call back and go, no, I changed my mind. Anyway, this is gonna disturb me for a bit. Am I talking really quickly? I'm not caffeinated or anything like that, I swear. I'm just a fast talker. It's better than being a low talker. At least you can hear me. Or a close talker. No, I'm not even gonna show that one. Anyway, so I bought these boots. You overpay, as I mentioned at this place. But this that's a place where I have found Chippewa boots, where I found Doc Martin sandals, Doc Martin, Mary Janes. So they get some good stuff. You just have to be ready to. So these are men's cowboy boots. They're obviously a little different or a little fancier. They're for a fancy man than your average like work cowboy boot. Um, they feel really good. And I thought, these seem special, though I have never heard of this brand. The brand is Rudy Lara. I don't think you'll be able to see it in there, but it says it, it, it nice and clearly. Oh no, that's not where it says it. It says it here nice and clearly. They're very clean. Um, they're a size 11D. This looks like I feel like it's faux ostrich. It's real leather, but I don't know if it's real ostrich. And I'm, no, it's not ostrich. Ostrich has those, and, I, and I'm glad because, I mean, ostrich can do well, but I, I hate the idea of them. But anyway, I think these are just leather. Let's see. I don't know. Anyway, I looked up Rudy Lara boots and just quickly while I was at the store and they, there didn't seem to be a lot of them on the reseller market, the resale market. Um, and those that were available and those that were sold all were very promising price-wise. So I was like, oh, yeah, yep, I wanna try these. They're, you know, they're, the heel is in good shape. They are not very worn. Trying to see, made in Mexico, size 11D, last R. I don't know what that means, but maybe this is gonna be a new bolo. We will see. And then the seven items that I picked up at the local store. Okay, I got a Christmas sweater. It is a ugly Christmas sweater. It 
It has this, which I believe was probably the original tag because it still has the sticker on it that says, I light up. And it doesn't stop lighting up. Well, or it easily lights up because I just pulled it out of the bag and it started lighting up. It is a size extra large. So I have to tuck it away somewhere where it won't get jostled because I don't want to overuse the lights and have the lights stop working. Um, this is just a sort of Kelly green, jelly bean green polo shirt. Uh, it's Lacoste and it's such a classic sort of, I, I, I don't know why I want to say retro style, but because uh, they may still do this, but I mean, this goes way back and I, I've heard that Lacoste can do well. And I know I have sold Lacoste and done okay with it. It's a size large. There is a little bit of fading on the collar, but since it was one of the sale items, uh, I thought I would pick it up and I'll be able to make some money on it. And if you if you look up the Lacoste polo shirts, they're, you know, they're not selling them for like $15. This is, I've never tried this brand. Oh, you know what? Oh. So the brand is Wit and Wisdom. And I did look up Wit and Wisdom pants and they seem to be asking decent prices. And they have that elastic inside, kind of like Democracy does, um, which people seem to like. But these are a size two, and I feel like, I don't know if that's as, as wanted in a size two, but it looks like someone took them in. But the beauty of it is they didn't cut anything. They just, and I've done this, they just pulled this and then seamed it. So I'm gonna take out my trusty old uh, stitch ripper and I'm gonna open it up and it should look as good as new. And they're just, uh, They've got stretch, they're black with little little dots. They're very tiny polka dots. And they're, uh, I'd say they're an ankle pant. I hadn't tried this. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to bring home some things, so I decided to throw them in the basket, or I didn't have a basket, hold it. All right, I don't know this brand. It's called Free Planet. It's a size large. It's 60% organic cotton, 40% polyester. But I bought it for the flamingos. It's got flamingos all over it. Um, I actually picked up a pair of flamingo toms at the store where I got the boots. And I ended up leaving them because the backs were, were dirty. And I wasn't sure I'd be able to get them cleaned. And so it's the kind of thing I might have bought for one or two dollars, but I think they were four or five. No, they were five dollars. The flamingos, I don't buy Tom's normally, but the fling, flamingos, it looks like can do okay. But I, I just thought I don't want to deal with the cleaning. That might make it only worth about 15. So it's not really worth it for five dollars. But I thought this was so cute. I love the color. It's very watercolor with the tiny flamingos. And uh, I, I had a shirt once with flamingos and it was a company, New York and Company or something, not a great design. And I hesitated listing it because I was like, ugh, who's gonna buy this? It's such a crappy brand. Um, and it fit me. So I was like, maybe I'll just keep it. But I listed it and that, that sucker sold, I think in less than 24 hours. So I'm thinking flamingos, flamingos sell. Okay, this is Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol looks so sweet. That's a David Bowie song. Um, look it up if you don't know it. Because me singing it isn't going to help you. Uh, I liked that it was Andy Warhol. And that is why I bought it. Because I thought, well, I didn't look it up or anything. But I thought maybe, you know, an art. and it's a long sleeve tee, which I like. It's a medium, which is too big for me. If it was a small, I would be the backup plan. I could still be the backup plan. I like things big and loose. And there's a design on the front that must be an Andy Warhol picture. There's the signature. So I did not know there were Andy Warhol hull, hull, as in hulls. That's how the song ends. Um, I didn't know that such a thing existed. And then two shirts of the same brand the last time I was at the store, I think I bought some of these Vineyard Vines men's shirts. 
Do you rem if you watch mine regularly, do you remember that? It was the last time I was at the store and I know I picked up at least, or maybe I just one men's vineyard vine, um, button, button, button down shirts. And, and here's two. This is just a check pattern. I don't know, picnic table. It is blue and it's a yellow green. I haven't sold the other one, whale shirt, but I wonder if they're the same size, probably, and that might help uh, for bundling. Or at some point, if they don't sell and I'm sick of them, I might try to sell them as a lot because I have had some luck doing it that way. And here's the other one, XL. This is a bigger check, check pattern. Someone definitely had a style. And it's blue and pink, also buttoned down. There's buttons on the collar, which makes it buttoned down. Otherwise it'd be buttoned up. The little whale. So just a classic, nice cotton shirt. And that is it. So yay, I have a short video for you. I don't expect to have another one until the beginning of August. Cause again, I'm not planning to source and I don't even think I will have time to source. Um, anytime soon. So thank you for joining me. Um, say hi in the comments or whatever, whatever you want. Follow me on Instagram at Ilana, E-L-A-H-N-A-H. -H. That is also my Poshmark closet and my Mercari closet. If you like this kind of content and you want to watch my videos, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and the bell so you know when uh, I release another video. If you're not that keen on this type, don't bother. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one, probably in August.